We get a blood sample from the hunter harvested elk. So all of the hunters that take an elk will bring in a blood sample that they collect while they're field dressing. We test that for pregnancy and we've been doing that for five years. So from 2013 to 2017, we've been doing that. And we ended up with about 57% pregnant, which is pretty low. The question here is if we move that blood collection back in the year and essentially give them more time to conceive, more time to breed, will it increase? We are trapping and darting elk to collect blood samples. The blood samples are used for pregnancy testing and we do it in winter because you can't really bait them at any other time of year. So they're baited into the traps using alfalfa hay and then we dart them. Once they're down, we pull a blood sample, uh, put in some ear tags and then just reverse them. We did it last year and it did increase some. We're repeating that this year simply because we can't um, rely on data from a single year to draw any, any conclusions. So we're going to do it for three years. This is year two of a three-year study. Well, my name is Jeremy Banfield. I'm the elk biologist with the Pennsylvania Game Commission.